Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 2nd, 2018, Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day, everybody. And yes, Wyatt and Willie here in Ontario determined that we only have six weeks left of winter. So early spring, they're saying, but we will, we shall see if these uh, groundhog meteorologists are right. Because most of the other meteorologists are not getting anything right recently with all this wonky weather we're having across the world. And speaking of major weather systems, right now we're looking at snow coming to Ontario twice within the next five days. Pretty sizable system bringing up to 30 centimeters of snow to central Ontario and uh, northern parts of Ontario. Uh, probably looking at about 15 centimeters in south Windsor, Brantford area and closer to Lake Michigan looking at probably 30 centimeters up to 45 centimeters with the winds behind the storm. Um, throughout Canada, the only other weather system right now is in the west coast developing right now as we speak bringing a couple centimeters to Calgary area and then developing into a high pressure heading east helping funnel down all these nasty cold temperatures that's right this is going to be a cold month for North America and anything above the 33rd parallel for that matter uh, looking in the Pacific Ocean and here still is this very large low pressure center spinning and what happens is all the, these large, pro, large low pressure centers come across the Pacific into the Alaskan Peninsula, the Aleutian Islands, and then ends up breaking down, heading east, and then it joins again, and a new low pressure center heads from the west every other day or so, right here low pressure center following the same track tropical cyclone Kabil is still a pretty sizable storm this is now day seven tropical cyclone Kabil Australia still dealing with a lot of rain in the north and northwestern parts of Australia um, other major concerns here for weather is in South America as we're going to have some pretty intense thunderstorms, and supercells, torrential downpours throughout these areas. Just going to give a quick look here, five day forecast over the North Pole. Now our North Pole sits somewhere around here and you can see it being Disturbed as that low pressure center heads over it and it totally diminishes the low pressure system becoming a huge high. Now we've watched these low pressure centers come off of the eastern seaboard of Canada and then straight into Greenland and Iceland. But looking at some very cold temperatures across North America and Greenland. Pretty intense snowfalls as well. We'll have to see some reports here along the coastal areas of Greenland and also Iceland. Pretty significant snow and rain event heading across the Atlantic. Cold temps still all the way down into Morocco, the Sahara and cold temps, same place as India and Afghanistan, northern parts of Iraq, Turkey. But you can see here, cold temps all the way across Europe. Hashtag grand solar minimum. And that's it for our weather. Uh, give a quick look for earthquakes now. And here we are looking at the Walton 3D map app. And this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. 
Most notable is the 6.0 and the 5.2 Antarctic Ridge. Another most notable is the 5.1, 4.7 Atlantic Ridge leading up into the 4.4 towards the North Pole. 5.1 Indian Ridge, that's just most recent. So 5.1 Tonga region, 5.5 Indonesia, those are the larger earthquakes over the past 24 hours. Looking at all the earthquakes in the Aleutian Islands still. Alaska. And not too many rumbles here in California recently. Seems to be calming down a bit. Earthquake swarm in the Caribbean. And just recently, 4.4. Looks like Ecuador. 4.6, 4.4, 4.3. 5.2, Argentina. 4.1 in Chile. So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks, from around the world. And I know it's been a couple days from my uploads, but please forgive me. I am here now. And I will be uploading every day from now on. But I'm going through some changes, folks, and I hope that you are here to support me and be with me during these changes as I've decided that I need to head back to Calgary, to my hometown, and carry on being a father for my three children who I miss dearly and will be home soon to see my children again. So please bear with me and join me as in a couple weeks I'll be hopping on a Greyhound bus and heading west. And you guys can follow along every day as I upload a daily vlog. Probably won't be doing my regular weather and earthquake videos for about four days as I travel across Canada. It's the last seven days for earthquakes, guys. Pretty busy week. And as I said in my last video, it's been a pretty busy year so far for earthquakes already. It's been a busy month. So stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and tune in to Morning Dew every day. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends and family from across the world. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.